This is it, opening day. The regular season is set to begin, and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. And from the sideline, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Suns finally broke a decade-long playoff drought. Devin Booker says it's been a long time coming. Basketball and life relate to each other, and that's how I grew up. It's through basketball. I kept my head down, kept working, and it finally paid off. Kevin, is that deep enough for you? <laughs> yeah, I love it, and I love that team. David, thank you. <laughs> and now, look at Boston's upcoming schedule. On Wednesday, they're off to New York to face the Knicks. And then on Friday, they'll head home and take on the Toronto Raptors. And now the opening lineup for Boston. On to the front court along with Tatum. Marcus Smart is out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Horford in at the center filling out the middle. And for Phoenix, up it forward, they'll have Bridges and Crowder. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Aiton in at the five down low. And here we are, opening night. Brent, do you have some special memories from an opening night you played in? Man, I'm fired up, Kevin. Opening night. I hope you're excited. I know you are. Uh, I remember back in 1995. Oh, no, that was many years ago. We had played against the Phoenix Suns, and they at the time had a player that said something during a free throw when the arena was completely quiet. Clippers against Suns. Uh, I can't repeat it in, in this broadcast. That's the first commercial break, Kevin. I'll share it with you. But thank you for reminding me of it. Here's Paul. Bridges outside. Booker against Horford. A drive by Booker. Horford with the block. Swatted by Horford in terms of defense. Al Horford up there amongst the top. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. on the clock here's Booker again the miss by Booker not sure what what the D was doing there clearly a breakdown you can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look Twitter passes to Brown the Celtics working the ball around now pass to smart here's Tatum good and Jason smart gets Tatum. the assist Tatum's got the game going here with the first basket for Boston. A mix of agility and strength makes Tatum lethal inside. He can easily work around the defense. Now here's Crowder. To the left wing. Bridges outside. Shoots over Brown. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Celtics ball. And here's Schroeder. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Tatum down low. He's against Crowder. Six on the shot clock. Here's Smart. The shot, no good. So Phoenix will take it the other way. This, of course, being game one of the season, is their first look at the Celtics. Eight and a screen on Smart. Paul kicks to Booker. And it's sent back by Horford. And that one's good, Aiton. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for the Celtics. Pass to Horford. Outside Tatum. Back to Horford. Let's it go from deep. Knocks down the three ball. Yeah, another big out there who can stretch the floor. Horford doing that now often. Right, you always want DeAndre Ayton to play more aggressively, don't you? 
Well, it's when he's at his best, especially when he's down low and, and using his frame. He's he's kind of like you know, this young kid that doesn't realize how big he is, but he's starting to understand how much his size can impact what he can do on both ends of the floor. Shot by Crowder, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Pretty strong and physical that time from Al Horford on the inside. Bridges outside. Dishes it to Crowder. Paul outside. Baseline jumper. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Austin leading by five to the middle. Here's Tatum. It's deflected. Uh, more than capable as a defender. Bridges with a great job using his length. Here's Ayton. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Brown. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Now that he's attracting so much defensive attention, Greg, Brown is routinely getting others involved. And how about his assist numbers have skyrocketed. And it's really not surprising. His sole focus is doing what's best for the team. Free throw good from Brown. And the vertical that Brown has is pretty impressive. As relentless a finisher as you'll find in our league. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Sharch has checked in for DeAndre. Johnson comes in for Bridges. Landry Shamit's checked in for Devin Booker. And it's Payne in for Chris Paul. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Cantor's checked in for Horford. Robert Williams comes in for Tatum. Josh Richardson's checked in for Smart. And it's Pritchard in for Dennis Schroeder. Suns trail by five. Pass to Crowder. Back to Shamit. Two minutes remaining in the first. On the wing, Johnson. He's covered by Brown. Just five to shoot. Here's Sharch. It's hauled in by Richardson. Yeah, I can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but looked like plenty of room. The pass to Pritchard. Round with it. There's a minute 34 and left to play in the first quarter. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed. So can't fault him for going for the block. Now here's Payne. Pass to Sharch. 119 left to play in the first. Makes it off the glass. Now Sharch on the inside has really good quality footwork. Passes it to Brown. Cantor sets the pick for Brown. Over Sharch. And he can't bank that one in. Payne looking around. Kicks it to Sharch. Pass to Crowder. Johnson in the corner. And the three ball is good. Jay Crowder moving it to the open man. Over Boston, their last game, a loss to the Heat. Brown outside. Here's Cantor. Kicks it out to Richardson. There's the pass to Pritchard. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Brown. That doesn't go either for Brown. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. 
Here's Cantor. Wide open shot is on the money. Good touch on the jumper, especially from mid-range. Cantor hits a high percentage of those shots. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Celtics lead by two. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Ladies and gentlemen, and regarded as one of the best leaders in the game today, Chris Paul opening about how his team works together. With anything, uh, whether it's business, work, relationships, whatever, it's communication. And I think that's something that we're doing an amazing job of right now. And that's communicating, talking through things, and making sure, even when it gets tough, that we continue to communicate. And with this younger team, it's got to be easier for Chris Paul to lead as that elder statesman. Yeah, at times in the past, veteran teammates didn't appreciate his constant input. Credit these younger guys, though, for soaking it in. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And the Celtics guys, what jumps out to you, stats wise? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the floor for Boston. Williams is out there with Jason Tatum. Then it's Marcus Smart. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. And it's Horford in at the center position. Now here's Schroeder. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Comes up empty down low. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Booker the pass to Ayton. Ayton a screen on Schroeder. No block shot. It's stolen by Schroeder. Tatum against Bridges. Tatum kicks to Smart. Pass to Schroeder. Back to Smart. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got four rebounds in this game. Ayton is a player who Greg occasionally shoots a three, but it's still a developing part of his game. First person. Yeah, you know, not the best First numbers team. from outside. Does it to keep That's teams honest, Phoenix. but it's a far Nick fetch to say Bridges. he can stretch a defense. Taking two shots. Bridges, in his young part of his career, has taken on the challenge of guarding some of the league's best offensive players. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Bridges. And Brett with Mikel Bridges, defense is his calling card. I love the fact that he just has such great hands, anticipation, and length. And he just plays a lot bigger than the size he is on the floor. That kind of stuff disrupts offensive players. And he also just continues to track. Even if he's beat, he will give you second effort uh, to stay in the plays defensively. That, that's a high-level skill for a young player. Now, here's Schroeder. He's still scoreless so far in this one. There's a screen by Williams. Tatum passes to Williams. He gets it in there. But showing that aggressive nature. Williams Jason competes Tatum. hard, doesn't back down, and he'll let his opponent know he's not afraid of the contact. Ayton inside, guarded by Horford. Ayton kicks to Paul. Passes it to Bridges. From deep three-point range, he's off on that one, and it's Boston the other way. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. No problem Jason knocking that Taylor. one down. Three point now it's a five-point Celtic lead. A heady play there from Schroeder, zipping the pass to the teammate who had the cleanest look on the possession. 
Ball passes to Aiton. Kicks it out to Johnson. It's to Paul from downtown. Williams with the block. A main staple in Williams' game. That sixth sense for when to rise up and deter those shots. The offensive rebound. And it's Paul with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. And we see teams around the league trying to integrate star veterans with talented rookies. Greg, it's not always easy, is it? Not at all, Kevin. And a lot of times it becomes a choice between win now or win later. Though the teams with great coaching Boston. and development can oftentimes do both. Which loudest section wants a t-shirt? Ladies and gentlemen, your son, Dancer. Checked in for eight. Jay Crowder comes in for Johnson. Landry Shamitz checked in for Bridges. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Cantory checked in for Williams. Jalen Brown comes in for Jason Tatum. Richardson, he's checked in for Smart. And it's Pritchard in for Dennis Schroeder. Here's Pritchard. Payne covering. Richardson gets a wide open look. Hands it from Josh downtown. Richardson. Richardson's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Two Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, did a whole stretch offensively, for sure. Payne passes to Book. Here's Crowder. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Five on the clock to the paint. Sharich finds Payne. Two points. That one goes. And Sharich, just one of those European players that comes over with the fundamentals. Beautiful play there. And Brent Sharich, a guy who's been in and out of the starting lineups his entire career. It's been nice to see, though, how he accepts the role because what he has been doing has helped produce the wins. He could play some four alongside another big, but he's a five that has skill, can pass the ball, and can shoot it a little bit. And he's embraced the role of coming off the bench to try to provide some sort of offensive and defensive impact. So it's the Celtics now following the score by Phoenix. The shot's good from Cantor. This is the thing about Cantor. He has the size to muscle through contact and the good touch to boot. Now here's Payne. Charge outside. Sent back by Horford. Booker against Richardson. We've got 33 seconds left in the first half. From 13, Cantor kicks to Horford. Brown outside. Shamit with the steal. Booker in the corner. A three-pointer off the mark. 
around with it. From deep. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. The Celtics out in front. They're up by four. The Celtics. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, guys. With head coach Monty Williams. Coach, how do you get things going a little bit more offensively? Well, we've got to set screens. We've got to get stops. If we're getting stops, we can play in transition. That opens up a lot for us. Yeah, you guys are hard to beat when you're out and running. We'll see if that happens more. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Hey, everybody. Halftime is upon us, and a battle is also upon us. Not Kenny and Shaq this time, thankfully, but two outstanding players through the first half. We've got a heavyweight clash on our hands. This is a star-driven league. You've got two fierce leaders going head-to-head, -head, both guys trading blows as each one tries to will his own team to victory. So get some fresh popcorn ready. And now a look at how that first half went for the Celtics. They're in a close one. It's always a positive sign to see assist numbers like this. They're moving the rock with ease and keeping each other happy. It's a brand of unselfish basketball that's fun to watch and play. That is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. DeAndre with a strong contribution so far in this one. Yeah, and early on, he has been feasting in the pain, and, and you have to think they're going to keep feeding the big fella. Oh, man, pouring it on right now, and why wouldn't you? We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. A star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. Up it forward, they'll have Bridges and Crowder. And it's Aiton in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. She's out there for Phoenix. Paul against Smart. Tries the spin move. Aiton trying to break free. And he makes that one. Paul's got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for the Sun. Shooter kicks to Tatum. Horford with the screen on Aiton. Phoenix grabs the miss. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. That game will conclude a three-game homestand. Schroeder against Paul. Booker up top. Eating a screen on Smart. Here's Booker. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. So impressive. The fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Well, they didn't really have a choice at the position that they were. They had to fight hard. They've gotten that. They've outworked the other team just fighting to them. Here's Horford. Devin Booker picking up that last basket. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. That one on eight. First team foul. Okay, nice job by Tatum inside. Very assertive. Jason He's Tatum. fantastic at two putting shots. the pressure on the D and consistently getting to the line. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And the rise of Tatum, boy, it has been fun to watch. And many believe he's nowhere close to being done improving yet. Williams, he's checked in for Al Horford. So Tatum nails them both. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Eight and a screen on Schroeder. Here's Paul. Great D that time from Tatum. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over him. 
Williams a screen on Crowder. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. Baiting the defender into a foul. Tatum wants to get to the line where he has always been terrific. For Boston, they have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. Here's Paul. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. The pass to Aiton. It's stolen by Schroeder. The rejection by Paul. Always in position to make a play at either end. Chris Paul teed that one up nicely. Oh, Aiton in position. And Aiton throws it down. Oh, oh, that's straight TNT, baby. Uh, Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless net. There oh, he goes. You don't want to be jumping on a play like that. No. Wow, he was up there, <laughs> Kevin. Uh, an unreal athlete. Williams gets off the floor with such ease to power it down. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. On the wing, Booker. Aiton inside. He's guarded by Williams. Here's Brown. And it's out of bounds. Well, they say it was last touch by Brown. And looking now at some numbers for Paul. He's coming off an excellent season. Last season put up about 16 points a game. Nine assists and four rebounds. And he's also a bit of a stopper defensively. They put him in and their defense really tightens up. This is his specialty. He sits on the bench, he gauges what's happening offensively, and he comes in and sticks the opponent's top scorer to freeze him out. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Aiton. Yeah, if Aiton can get in that kind of position, he could be a bully on the inside. Three passes to Tatum, takes the three. It's rebounded by Paul. Team starts the second half missing four or five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Johnson right side. Shot clock at five. Ayton sets the pick for Booker. For the lead. And they get it back. Aiton a screen on smart. Here's Booker from eight feet away. He drops it in. Booker's got the lead up to one now for the Suns. Love the confidence of Devin Booker when he gets a screen. He knows what he wants to do. Schroeder dishes to Tatum. Over Johnson and Tatum the bucket on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got three assists in the game. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Suns. And the Suns call their first time out of the game. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team.
Sharch has checked in for DeAndre Andre Shamit comes in for Booker, and it's Payne in for Chris Paul. And then for Boston, Cantor is checked in for Robert Williams. Richardson comes in for Smart, and it's Pritchard in for Dennis Schroeder. Shamit up top. Richardson cover. Johnson surveying the floor. Payne. Basket is good. The assist from Johnson. Payne's got his second basket. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. And here's Tatum for three. Trains the three-pointer. And the Celtics lead by two. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Shamit the pass to Sharich. Bridges against Brown. Bridges kicks to Payne. Down to five on the shot clock. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Tatum passes to Pritchard. Tatum with it. Now guarded by Sharich. Shot from 12. They get the rebound. Cantor's shot is off. For Phoenix, they've gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Pass to Sharich. He dishes it to Payne. to Sharich and stolen by Tatum and Tatum with a clear path to the hoop it's tipped it's stolen by Johnson you can't get that one what a performance That's for Jason Tatum he has been the, the story so far for the Celtics he notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display we'll take a quick break and then back to the action here And while we can now, uh, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. On the floor for Boston. Outside, the wings are smart and brown. Horford is out there with Rob Williams. And it's Schroeder in at the point guard. Williams against Crowder. Kicks it out to Paul. Over smart. No good off the back of the rim. And so Brown will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. A two-point game. Williams, a screen on Bridges. He hits Brown with the drive. Can't cash in from close range. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Charge, that's good. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Boston's gone 4-6 from outside the arc tonight. Schroeder outside. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute play. Williams, a screen on Bridges. Here's Brown. Oh, yes, sir. And what amazing athleticism from Brown, putting on a show out there with slams like that. Suns on offense, trailing by two. 
ball against Schroeder. Charge outside. Passes to Bridges. Charge just screen on Williams. The Suns need to get a shot off. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Brown feeling it out a bit. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. And he uses the glass on the lane. And it's a four-point Celtic lead. And very early on, Brown learned how to finish through contact, an essential skill for an NBA player to master. Here's Paul. The rebound by the Celtics. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Andre is checked in for Sharks. Now into the lineup for your sons. For Phoenix, they've gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Crowder sets a screen for Paul to the inside. Ayton gets in and good for his sixth field goal in ten attempts. The defense gets physical, but Ayton doesn't seem to get knocked off a of balance. That helps him to keep the focus. Outside, Horford. He kicks to Schroeder. On the wing, Williams. Now Schroeder jacks up a three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Ayton's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Paul passes to Ayton. And Ayton throws it down. Chris Paul came into the league playing unselfish. Continues to do so. What a dime. Kicks to Brown. Horford with the screen on Bridges. Here's Brown. Some solid defense from Ayton. The Suns have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Shoots over Schroeder. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. For Boston, they've gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. At the elbow, Horford. Bridges against Brown. Two minutes remaining in the game. A new 14 for Boston. But Trey cranes it from beyond the arm. Brown's got seven points here in this quarter. Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Here's Paul with the drive, and it's blocked okay. by Brown. And that's Phoenix out of bounds. Ball. Phoenix will retain possession. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Tatum, Tatum is checked in for Robert Jason Williams. Tatum. Ball outside. Aiton in position. Throws down the alley oop slam. Just great hands for Aiton to time that one. 136 left here in the fourth quarter. Tatum against Crowder. And there's the bucket from Tatum. And the Celtics lead by three. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Looking over the floor. Like at six. From 11 feet away, the shot misses. Great D that time from Dennis Schroeder. Celtics leading by three. And the call on the shot that sends it into the line. That's his second person. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense Jason get to the rim. Jason Taylor. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on the first, and that gives them a four point cushion.
so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Wow, I tell you what, those free throws will give them some much-needed breathing room. Two-possession game now. Schroeder against Paul. Misses from short range. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Here's Brown. That shot misses. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Can't waste any time here. Well, it's probably a little bit too late here, but you really need to score a bucket here to stay alive. Mid-range master Chris Paul at it again. And so they foul intentionally. Chris Paul. Yeah, you, you have That's to do that, though. You foul. can't just let him dribble again. Second team foul. Shooting for Boston. Dennis Schroeder. Two shots. Shooting two. the first one and that gives them a four point cushion. Schroeder last year accepting his role of coming off the bench and being a scorer so whatever it is the coaching staff is asking of him he's willing to do it. So he gets them both and it's a five point game. Suns. Timeout call the Suns. They're down by five. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. The loudest and craziest fans get a free t-shirt. Let's see Ladies and gentlemen, your son, Dancer. up with our sideline reporter David Aldridge. Hey guys, I had a chance to listen to what Monty Williams discussed with his players. He talked about X's and O's, but he also said, hey guys, we got to trust each other, stick together, and leave it all out on the floor. We'll see if they've got enough left to get over the top, Kevin. Thank you, David. Walker finds eight. Now Crowder back to Paul. The three doesn't get it to drop for him. And so they choose to intentionally foul. That's his third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Celtics, Dennis Schroeder taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. The second of two is good. That Sounds increases fine. their lead to six. All right, fans, get on your feet and make some noise for teacher time. All right, the 
seconds left in the fourth quarter and now we've got the intentional foul DeAndre Ayton that's his fourth personal foul fourth team foul shooting for Boston Robert Williams at the line for two shooting two And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. You know, he just plays with such tenacity on both ends. Williams is a rising talent who wants to prove he belongs. He's able to hit the second one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And Paul launches it from deep. No good. And so it's the Boston Celtics the with the W. Game. A truly gutsy performance we away from like home. Ball you ball know, it, it really was. Kevin, when event. this one was Please hanging the in the balance late, right they showed safety. just what a tough-minded group they can be. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Al, congrats. Tough game tonight. When do you think you guys really locked in and started taking control of the game? It all started the second half. We didn't do a good job the first half. We let him hang around. But, um, uh, you know, at least we uh, reacted better the second half. This is one of those games that we just had to, you know, will, will our way uh, to win this. A lot of games like that, you have to kind of just grind out, Al. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. You can be yourself.